Hello everyone, Duke Death here. Today I'm going to be bringing you another Clash of Clans video. Um, so this is, I'm going to do like different ones. Like I can only do uh, Town Hall 5 and 4 and Town Hall, soon Town Hall 6 and Town Hall 7 and Town Hall 8 and Town Hall 9. So that's the only, that's like all of them actually. Okay, um, well... These are like good three star attacks. Uh, there's one attack that's all for all town halls. You know, it's called Barch, which it was in my farming loot video, which it's really easy to do. So right now this is for town hall four and five. So here I'm doing a ground attack. Uh, thirteen giants, twenty archers, four wall breakers, eight wizards, one lightning spell. The lightning spell is, you know, to zap the mortars or the, uh, wizard tower. The wizards are just for, like, you know, extra power. The giants take out the defenses and archers, clear out the clan castle, and basically anything else. So, you check what, like, if there's anything in the clan castle. Always good thing. Um, so I use the, um... So I placed the giants like over here by the clan castle, and I placed the wall breakers over here by this elixir collector. Um, so then the mortar would fire at the giants instead of the wall breakers. So then you just spread out your archers, you know. Since, uh, you know. So then you can get all the other stuff in. And, in like, at this level, you don't really need a funnel too much. Which, a funnel is where you take out the surrounding structures. So then, like, the kill squad, which is, like, for instance, this, like, the wizards will go into the base and take out everything else in the base. But here, I didn't need to use my lightning spell. You know, just, you know, got all this and then got those builder sets, which that was a very easy. So, right now we'll be just showing, like, ground attacks. So, here, here's a little bit stronger. Actually, I think that guy's actually maxed, except for his walls. Um, so, it's, for, it's really good, this attack strategy, you know. Here, since he has all of his structures so far away from his base, I can just take everything out. So I decided to come in from over here, you know, because the mortar was over here. So here's a good example of the funnel. Zap the mortar. This wizard took took out this barracks, and this wizard took out, I forget what was there, but I think it was an elixir collector. And again, I spawned the wall breakers in a different area. So, here's a good example of a funnel. Now, you guys you guys won't have a witch in your clan castle. I just donated myself one for fun. But this is an example of a funnel. How almost all the troops, except for the ones I placed on the outside, go into the base. So, that helps you with destroying everything inside the base so let's just speed this up a little so it's just a really easy you know attack and three star now I, now this is on my mini count so I mean I'm not gonna be attacking like silvers um so I think this is air, yeah. Here's an air attack. You guys probably won't have... Now, let me pause this real quick. The reason why I attacked this base was because the air defense was upgrading. So, you know, that's really good if you're finding a base with an upgrading air defense. Um, And balloons in Town Hall 4, 5, 6 are really, really good. I mean, they're just 
outstanding. With this attack, I've only lost three attacks. There's just one archer in there. Um, so it looked like everybody else took out the clan castle over there. So I just come in with the balloons. You want to spread them out so then, like, if any air bombs come up. Because level 1 air bombs can take out your... Two level 1 air bombs can take out level 2 balloons and lower. In two hits. So that's why you want to have them spread out. And plus, they'll group together. So then in the back, you just want to spread out your archers. About as far as the balloons, you know, sometimes... And, you know, put some out on the other side. So, I mean, as you can see, it just destroys. The balloons just destroy bases. So, let's just speed this up because it's just clean up. And so, this attack cost me about 60000 A little over 60000 So, it's a good trophy-pushing attack. Um... And it takes a good bit to train. For me, it took about, like, 40 minutes. But, yeah. So, another easy three-star. Uh, so, here's another... Oh, this is a... We'll get into that. Um, let me go here, here. Warlog details. Um, so, let me see. This isn't the other ground attack. We'll just speed this up a little since we've already seen how it... Here's another example of the funnel. So the wizard takes out that elixir collector. Then another wizard took out this builder's hut over here. And I came in with the giants and there goes the wall breakers. Um, And then all the wizards, you know, I placed them there. And then they just all swarm into the base. Which just destroys bases and at lower levels if you do this it's really good so we'll just speed this up a little and you know I placed a few archers on the outsides to start taking out the structures but yeah another three star And let me see if I attacked also number seven. And this is the air attack. So here he only had, he's a level six town hall. He only had one air defense. I like zapping the air defense so it takes it out sooner. Here I took out the archer tower so then they would go to the wizard tower. And so it would take in less damage. Here I spread it out the balloons and I have one balloon in there and wizards and then they take balloons take forever to uh, drop their bombs but not when they just get over a structure because watch I mean they just like hover over it and drop they just like take a half of a second or three-fourths so another cleanup for another three star. <laughs> and then there's that last uh, army camp. So here is the attack barch, which is barbarians and archers. That's it, barbarians and archers. It's just for hitting 50% or getting the loot. Like, you might win, you might not win, you know, but it's mainly just for the loot. And it helps you, and it, the 50%. So here I get the 50%, you know. So what you do is you just try to take out the structures, and you want to find bases with loot that have the loot in the collectors, like that. Or this one is a better example. Not in the storages, which that just has like very little in it. So we'll just start this. And then you want to, you know, you could place barbarians on the outside. I like carrying more 
barbarians than archers. So it's kind of a slow attack. You can't really like rush it. Here you don't need to bring any spells, you know, or anything crazy. So it's just, you know, an easy 50% attack. And, no, this isn't the base. Um, the n next barge attack, actually, I'm, yeah. Um, the next barge attack, I just ended it because it was, you know, just, I got all the loot and I couldn't do really any more percentage. So here I just dropped a few barbarians on the outsides. Checked if there was anything in the clan castle. And I came over here from the with the elixir, and so just got all the elixir collectors. Place got those few archers in there. I probably could have still gotten the fifty percent without doing that because I didn't destroy anything because of that mortar. But you know it still worked out, and. You, I'll show you. Let me see if I can find a picture. Well, not a picture. A thing of how to tell if there's any loot in the gold mines. Because it's harder to tell with the gold mines than the uh, elixir pumps. So here I just placed the baby dragon in here. Just because I wanted some trophies, you know. Placed it in there. And got the town hall. So yeah. And then. Let me see. I'll pause the video until I find one. Alright. So I found one. Here's a level 1 collector. Gold mine. But see how. in Right where the, dump, the cart dumps the gold. See how there's like a lot of gold in there. That's how you tell how much gold is in there. So, you know, we can check, and he has 200, 500 in, 205 in there. So, shout out to Krampus for being such a nice guy and finally making it to co-leader in my clan. But, that's how you tell if there's any gold in the mines. So, yeah. Um, so thank you guys for watching. I will... Once my town hall gets to level 6 on my mini account, um, I will, oh, I already got attacked, my elixir, my elixir attracted them, I got a lot of elixir, um, so, once my town hall gets to level 6, I will unlock healers, so then I can show you guys a healer attack, which is really cool, and it's also used in town hall 7. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, have a great day, see ya.